Hello, my name is Matt Hyland, and welcome to this short video where today I'm going to show you how the Part 7 hydrogen blisters and hydrogen induced cracking flaws operate in the INSPECT program. In front of you, you're going to see a sample vessel that I made, and the first thing that you're going to notice here is I put multiple flaws on this vessel. And this is to showcase that you can actually add multiple flaws to a component or a vessel, and this gives a designer or an engineer a visual reference if the certain area they're looking at has had problems in the past or if there's existing problems you want to handle all within one program. So you can see on the bottom shell course here, we represent our HIC damage or hydrogen induced cracking with these white lines right here. And below it, we have our hydrogen blisters as well. Now to access this, you simply just come up to the API 579 menu and select part seven, hydrogen blisters and HIC. Now I've already gone ahead and modeled this, so we're actually going to open this dialog. We're going to go through the input. So I'm just going to simply right click on the damage flaw and it'll open it up. So the first thing you're going to specify is the identifier. If you want to name it something else, if you have a company standard, you fill this in here. And then the type of damage, either you're going to look at a hydrogen blister or hydrogen induced cracking. From here, you locate the center point of the flaw and you locate this, if you're familiar with our programs, it's like modeling a nozzle. You locate the center point of the nozzle along the, the parent component. But you're going to locate the center of the flaw. And then what you'll do is enter in the longitudinal extent and the circumferential extent. And we can draw a box around the uh, HIC damaged area. And then there'll be your standard uh, inputs for 579, such as your, your metal loss, as well as your future corrosion allowance and where the corrosion surface is, if it's on the inside or outside of the vessel. Now, while INSPECT does have a full part three um, flaw assessment available for the entire vessel, you can simply run a part three brittle fracture assessment for this flaw type. This will run both a level one and level two assessment so that you have proof that there is sufficient material toughness to continue on with the assessment if, for example, you need to do a level two assessment. So that's all we need to do in this first screen. So I'm simply going to go to the next screen, and this is where we're going to set up our flaw types. So in Inspect, we can set up multiple um, HICs on this dialog. We just simply increase this number, and then as you do that, you'll see multiple columns um, appear. And then from here, you simply fill out the information. So for example, the longitudinal extent, the circumferential dimension, uh, the edge-to-edge -edge distance near the nearest HIC or blister, information like that. Now, as you're filling in this information, the image down the bottom left is changing. So if you need a reference to say, you know, what is TC or what is LH, these images are going to change for you. So you have a quick reference for yourself as well. Okay. Now, some of the options below here, um, there is the API 941 high temperature hydrogen attack check as per paragraph 7.2.3 where you can simply enter in the hydrogen partial pressure in the maximum operating temperature as well. And we'll do that check for you. Now, the other checks are simply, um, if you want to say the future, if it's the future damage is going to be prevented or limited by, the options are down here listed below. Now, getting back to this input screen up here at the top, one thing that you'll notice is that you have a details box right here on the right hand side and this is your level one assessment so there's a very quick and easy way to get a level one assessment without having to go and run a report now the hic damage number one is highlighted in this blue and that's the one associated with the results that you're seeing on the right hand side if you highlight hic number two or hic number three you're going to see that the results change so this is a quick and easy way for an inspector or an engineer to get an idea of what's failing. Do I need to go to a level two or this is okay to pass and I can move on with some of the other flaw assessments that I might be looking at as well. So this is available for you. Now when I click okay, we're back at the model. And what I can do here is actually switch the report. I'm just gonna switch it because I've already run it. And now we're on the cover page here. I'm going to scroll down and again, you get a full detailed report with the inspect reports and I'm going to click on the HIC report right here. And this is a general summary of all three HICs that I modeled, your part three brittle fracture assessment, your MAT curve, as well as your tabulated results as well. But if I go into the actual report right here, 
we can see a detail report. We can see what, you know, when we do our checks for level one, if they're acceptable, if level two is acceptable. Um, the chart from API 941 is actually shown for you in the report as well. So if you don't have a copy with it, these are the curves from there. And then as always, detailed calculations follow below. So you can follow on exactly what's going on. There's also a supplemental loads calculation report for each of the, the hydrogen induced cracks that we're looking at as well. And again, everything's detailed out. And on top of that, we also do a crack like flaw assessment in both the longitudinal and circumferential, circumferential directions for the uh, flaws that fail a level one assessment as well. So you get a very complete, accurate, detailed report and a very easy to use tool when using inspect for your hydrogen induced cracks. Now let's switch back to the model. Let's click on the report and then we're back here. Now, if you were looking at a hydrogen blister, it would be a similar approach. You'd go up to the API 579 menu and you'd select part seven hydrogen blisters and HIC. And again, I've modeled this right below the, the uh, hydrogen cracks right here. So I'm gonna right click on it and open it up. And the dialogues are virtually identical. So once you learn one, you've learned the other one. Now the only difference is this time we're going to select the hydrogen blister. So I select that here and I click next and we come to the second screen. And again, it's very similar. You'll see I can enter in multiple blisters. You'll see the level one results on the right here. And then each blister highlighted, the level one results will pertain to that. Now there are a few different inputs because we're obviously dealing with a different flaw. So for example, the blister projection might be different. But again, if you're not sure what this is, images in the dialogue itself will help explain what these inputs are as well. There's also the 941 check. Um, if you do want to put in or you do know what the hydrogen partial pressure is and the max operating temperature, you can enter that in as well. And you can click OK. And that's it. It's a very easy to use, robust solution if you're looking to assess part seven hydrogen blisters or hydrogen induced cracking. Now, if you have any questions about what you've seen today, please email sales at codeware.com or give us a call at 941-927-2670 and we'd be happy to discuss our inspect program with you and make sure we can meet your needs.